Hello, my name is Paul Priestley. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Paul Priestley Art. Now today, we are looking at the second in my series of drawing simple objects. And today we're going to draw a mushroom. Yes, a simple mushroom, but it's all about the line and the angle of the line. So let's make a start. Come on. Okay, this is the mushroom that we're going to use. Now, look at it carefully. Look for the line. Can you see this angle of the lines is very, very important because your shading and the use of line later in the drawing is going to follow these lines that I'm drawing here. And this will create the form and volume of your object, make it look three-dimensional. Okay, let's move that out of the way. Let's concentrate on our pencils. A 2B pencil, an 8B pencil, and a piece of graphite. I'll give you the details of the graphite in the description below. Now, don't hold your pencil at the tip. Hold it further back and use your wrist. You see, move it round. Yeah, move your arm around. That's it. Don't stick it to the paper because you can't draw anything. The drawing will be much looser if you use your wrist, move your fingers, move your arm as I'm drawing now. Now, I'm doing the initial drawing in the 2B pencil and I'm drawing it quite lightly. Now, the reason I'm doing that is because later on, if you do make any mistakes or you need to draw over something, then rubbing it out at this stage when it's drawn very lightly is very easy. It's very difficult to rub it out and look convincing later on in the drawing. So get all the basics right first, drawing it out very, very lightly. So you can see here that I'm looking for the basic shapes and I'm now going to measure, you see, because the stem of the mushroom is about the same size as the base of the mushroom itself. You see, you see how I measured it. I do the same here. Look, I'm taking that measurement. Yes, right. you measure it and it works. You've got to use your um, eyes and get the proportions right. And we can get the proportions right at this stage. Notice how loosely I'm drawing this. You see, just getting the basic shapes nice and loose. If you've got a few lines there, it doesn't matter. Okay, don't try and make it too perfect. You're just trying to capture the essence of it. So don't get too upset about perfection because you're not going to do it anyway. Now, I'm taking the line for a little walk along here. You see all those triangle shapes along the edge of the mushroom here. We get those done. And then I'm going to start just sketching in very, very lightly the lines that I showed you before. And the reason I'm doing that is because when I come to do the shading, the shading is going to follow these lines. And that's going to make the whole thing look that much more convincing. Notice I'm just going over some of the edges here. Don't be too precious at this stage about making sure everything is absolutely perfect. You see I'm drawing extra bits here. You don't need to rub them out because you're going to shade over all this later on. You'll notice the lines that I'm putting in here just to remind me of the angles I'm going to be creating later on when I start doing my shading. Okay, now in a moment we're going to take a piece of graphite and I'm going to start shading with the graphite. Now the whole point of using the graphite is to create an edge rather than an outline. Now to create an edge with the graphite, hold the graphite flat, press on one side more than the other. So you get that edge there rather than an outline. And that makes things much more convincing. You see the white area next to the edge stands out much more. You can create depth this way, which is really quite good. So I am going to go around these, some of these um, edges now, creating edges, but not thick outlines. You can see how this is beginning to develop. And you can also notice how I'm now shading just very lightly with the side of the graphite to create the volume, the shape, the form of the objects, as I was mentioning before. It's all about pressure. The more I press on with my graphite, the darker the edge. The less I press on, the lighter the edge. You see, now I'm going around the edges here. There we go. Create an edge. And it looks so much more convincing than an outline. I'm doing the same here. Notice how I swap hands because sometimes 
you have to use your left hand rather than your right. In your case, you probably will just move the paper around, but I can't because I'm underneath my camera here. But notice the edges give you a much more effective drawing than a basic outline. You see, you've got that very sharp edge one side and a much more subtle soft shading on the inside of the edge. And it makes the thing look that much more convincing. Okay, I'm just going to do those triangle shapes. Now you'll notice I am moving my graphite to follow those lines that I put in originally. Can you see that? I'm going up and down around the mushroom and following those lines that I put in with my shading. You'll notice I do a little bit more of that now. Watch me as I come to do that here. Start moving the edge up and down. Look, you see? So it's following those lines, the shading. And by doing that, it's making my object look rounded. Rather than, you see, if you try and shade in any old direction and don't really think about the direction of your shading, your drawing is going to look flat and uninspiring. You need to think about the angle of those lines and try to get the shading to follow those angles. And the whole thing will then look so much more convincing. Notice I'm now varying the pressure that I put on with my graphite. So some areas are going to be very light, some areas are going to be dark. And notice those subtle edges create so much more interest to the drawing than an outline would have done. So all I'm going to do now is to just work on this area here, establish the darks a little bit more, um, see if I can get those much, much darker. There is a slight reflection off the paper as well, which I can use. I'm going to add a few more lines here now with my pencil. Don't make them too bold. It's just suggesting the lines with the 8B pencil because the stem of the mushroom is quite ribbed. So you need to suggest that if you possibly can. I'll add a little bit of textures here and there as well. You see, I'm just emphasizing some of the shading, some of the edges with a pencil. Don't go around everything with the pencil. You can add a bit of texture here by putting some dots on using the tip of the pencil. Tap, 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 tap. You see? All sorts of things you can do with your pencil. It's amazing. Again, I'm going around those edges. You see the little lines that I'm using now and it suggests the roundness. You've got to think in terms of the object. Imagine running your hands around this object and your pencil is following that. That's what you've got to do. You see, you've got to be passionate about your drawing. Otherwise, what's the point? Now, use a broken line along this edge here because that will give a much more interesting effect because the mushroom is quite rough in that point. So you want to try to do that. So we're going to put a few fiddly little bits in here, a few little lines, a few little dots, a few little marks, all help to create the slight roughness of the edge of the mushroom there. Put a shadow underneath. Now remember when you're drawing shadows with the graphite, you can press very hard underneath the uh, mushroom, but around the edges, press on very, very lightly because you want to create a very soft effect. Don't want a sharp edge around your uh, shadow because it, it simply isn't going to work. You can darken it as it moves into the piece. Leave a little bit there for a slight reflection off the paper as well. Okay, I'm just going to use my pencil now to add a few finishing touches, little, um, little lines here and there just to, well, finish it off really to finish the drawing. I hope you've managed to follow this okay and I hope your drawing is looking absolutely amazing because I'm sure it will because you're a brilliant artist. I hope you've enjoyed the drawing. Well done. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you really enjoyed it. If you have, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click the little black bell so we can keep in contact and you can find out about my latest videos. If you want to help support the making of these videos, then please check out my Patreon channel where you'll find lots of interesting rewards in return for your patronage. I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you very much and goodbye.